thinking about the new Armada Refinery Prime, you're not sure yet. So, that's another thing we can talk about there. Um, if anybody has not opened or seen open their G5 bundles, I opened one of each yesterday. Oh, I can actually open this one right now. So, the single chest pull... Some of these things you get multiple pulls of. It doesn't tell you up here. There is no info button to tell you these things. But some of these things you get multiples of. So let me just go find my screenshots from yesterday. And we can pull these up. Uh, I put them here. So here's my... I did a single chest pull on all of them. Here's my uncommon pull from yesterday. So I spent two and a half million credits and I got multiple resource bundles. I got three resource bundles. I got multiple ship part bundles. Armada directives was garbage, repair speed ups, you know, who cares about this stuff? But, you know, you're getting multiple rolls on some of the different things here. So it actually seemed a little bit better than I thought it was going to be on paper. The rare one was also pretty good in terms of officer sourcing. Two Picard, two Wharf, three Beverly. Like multiple pulls of officers. Multiple pulls of credits. I wish I got multiple pulls of the tactical course, but that was only a one-off. Uh, Armada directives may have also been either lucky or a one-off. But multiple officer pulls uh, was surprisingly nice. And then for the Epic bundle, again, these are all single chest pulls. You can see at the top it says one chest. This is the Epic bundle right here. Single chest pull, one Vorcha, two Corvus, three Nova. So multiple ship pulls, multiple resource pulls being awarded. Obviously the contents are going to change based on your ops level. But since we don't have an info button that tells us what our likelihood of getting anything out of these bundles is, there's some screenshots with some information on you for you so you can see that on some of these polls, you know, the maximum I could get is 185. Well, I got, you know, 295. Well, how did I do that? Well, I got one 185 pull and 110 pull, which means I got multiple resource pulls. We'll do another one right here, right now, live. Let's screenshot it. What did we get? We got some epic stuff. Okay. Where did that go? Where's my clipboard? Oh, but now I can't see what's actually in the pack anymore, right? Because it's because it's grayed out. Okay. Well, we can still see that we got multiple resource pulls and multiple ship part bundles. So it's better than it looks on paper, and it's certainly better than these look on paper. Because a single chest pull over here does not yield as much in the way of resources. Chris, you hate the prices with Ripper's Mod. You can see that's true. With Ripper's Mod, you can see into these things. I do agree that the prices are not linear upgrades, but I also feel like G4 wasn't. Oh, it is. Right. Yeah, the, the price points on the G5 bundles do jump. So the one chest pull, I think, was two and a half million, and the two chest pull, instead of being, you know, five million, is seven and a half million. So it's two chests for the price of three. Maybe that'll get fixed later once it's not so new and shiny. But I do agree that it, that doesn't line up with how any of these chests have pulled, how any of these chests have pulled previously. How refineries and things like that have pulled. Now, see, look, it's kind of the same thing we got right here. One chest at a thousand, two chests at three thousand. It's two for the price of three. 
This is the same scoring mechanism they used on the new G5 bundles. I don't recall there being a three chest option yet. So Players were also not happy about that. I did see quite a few people voicing their displeasure at that kind of stuff. Nuts, you went to STFC and screenshotted the page for the upgrade, and you still was denied. I don't know what's going on, man. I don't know what's going on for you. San Solo, thank you very much for the follow. And Just Q, thank you for the hydrate. Ace, you got the Armada Refinery upgrade, the Prime for that. Yeah, that one seems like it could be okay, because you're getting an additional roll. So the, instead of being a one chest pull, it's a two chest pull. And since we know that each chest is giving multiple pulls on some of the items within it, that's also pretty good too, and it seems like there could be, you know, a good some good payouts from all that kind of stuff. So, Nuge, thank you very much for the Twitch Prime subscription, three months now. Thank you. Welcome back. Speaking of primes, there you go. Bad Wolf asked, is there currently a way to get two of the Fleet Commander unlocks, or is it limit of one in the store, all there is available now? Uh, correct. So, you can have up to four Fleet Commander slots now. When you get the building to level 40, that's not the right tab. When you get the building to level 40, you unlock the second one. When you get your syndicate, I think, to level 40, you unlock the third one. And then the one in the store you can purchase, I think it's $99. Fleet Commander slot unlock, yeah. So you can buy this one for 100 bucks. Um, but in terms of unlocking the other ones, you have to get the building to level 40 to get one. So you got to get to here, get this up to 40. You can buy a pack or two to try and upgrade the building faster if you want to spend money to get there. Uh, the other one is in the Syndicate. I think it's also now at level 40. Yeah, right here, Fleet Commander spot at level 40 there. So you got to buy a couple of Syndicate XP packs, probably quite a few depending on where you are, uh, to move up through these levels. You can see exactly what you would need on stfc.space because it does have a syndicate tab so depending on where you are you can see it, it's a cumulative thing so me personally right now I'm at ops tw I'm at level 28 getting close to level 29 so let's just say all right, so I need 110,000. So I've got, right now I'm sitting at about 2.1 million total. And I'll be at 29 in just a little bit here. 2.1 million total. If I want to get to Ops 40 to get that Fleet Commander spot, I need 7.4 million, which means I need to buy 5.3 million Syndicate XP in order to do that. Given what Syndicate XP sells for in these bundles 75,000 per bundle that's a lot because I said I needed like 5.3 million divided by 75,200 you're talking about having to buy 70 packs that's very expensive you wouldn't need to buy a full 70 packs, though, because there are still the multi-phasics. So maybe it's only like 54 or 55 packs or something like that, because then you also get 
you get 17,000 multiphasics divided by, f so you get 34, you get 34 pulls times, I think it's what, 580 in there, so that's an extra 19,720, just because I feel like being weird and doing all the math. 19,720 plus 75,200 means I get about 95,000 per pack if I cash in all the multiphasics. 5.3 million divided by 95,000. Whoops. It's actually only 55 packs I'd have to buy. I still ain't doing it. I still ain't spending $5,500. But if people were so inclined... They could, and then you would get all the other syndicate perks that come along with it. Realistically, nude, you'll only have one for a while. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I only bought maybe one bundle back when the, the building was released, because I think they were giving out Ducat shards or something like that for when this came out. So I think I bought one upgrade pack you know, a year ago or whatever it was when this came out. I think if you're free to play, you're probably in like the low 30s on this. So you're not too far off from getting that second slot. High 20s, low 30s, somewhere in that range. So not, not terrible. Chris, you're getting pretty close there. Your command center's at 37. You've got 140 out of 150 Spock shards. Yeah, I, my, right around the time my building got to 40, I finally got my last Spock shards. It's almost like it was like, I, I think I was 40 for like a week or, or 10 days or something like that before I finally got the last Spock shards I needed. It was almost like a, as if I, they were trying to wait me out. Like, nah, how much longer do we think it can be before he gets them? Uh, I was honestly thinking about if incursions had run this month, now that I was level 40 and I was kind of getting hosed on them, the thought would have crossed my mind to at least cash in some incursions loot to try and pick them up. Uh, I wouldn't have done it. At least I hope I wouldn't have done it. Because, again, I wouldn't want to spend that on something that I can eventually source for free. Lloydson, you're also free to play, and you're at 37. Okay. Denver, you did some math with your Mantis maxed and Syndicate 31. It'll take you only 500 days. Awesome. Now, remember, we do get Syndicate XP in the Battle Pass and some of these other events and things from time to time, so maybe it's closer to, like, 450. <laughs> That's still ridiculous. Uh, again... I think I joked with somebody when this came out, like, oh, that'll be great in 2026. Which, yeah, it probably will be. You guys are 37s? Okay, awesome. Bad Wolf's like 100 bucks for the third and $5,000 for the fourth one. <laughs> yeah. Do you really need the fourth? Do you have four fleet commanders too? Did I mean? I guess if you if you have the other fleet commanders all unlocked, that could be a thing too. It might actually make a little more sense. Now the other thing I'm sure that we're gonna see now, if they're adding additional slots, are we going to see more fleet commanders released on a consistent basis? Probably. Probably gonna get a new fleet commander every arc at this rate. And we'll be getting three or four fleet commanders a year. I mean, we got five in the first year, right? Maybe we'll get a new fleet commander every quarter going forward. We can get Picard. We can get Riker. Maybe we'll even get a fleet commander... Uh, Jonathan Archer. Ooh. Fleet Commander Khan.
Fleet Commander Anabrin Tain. Possibilities are not quite endless, but there's at least a lot of them. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Fleet Commander Martok, sure. Be Fleet Commander Kern at this point. <laughs> Borg Queen, yeah. Lots of different options. Lots of different options for sure. <laughs> 